Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Preparation Ape, your number one place for Forrest Gump movie quotes. I'm DKB. She taught me how to swing, and I taught her how to dangle. I made your time. You better tuck that lip in, boy. Otherwise, you get caught on tripwire. <laughs> oh, Ooh, man, I'm pulling out some deep cuts and Lieutenant no, those Dan are ones. Yeah. Uh, yes, we're, of course, we're coming out here uh, live at twitch.tv slash chainswipe every single Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yay! The E3 whatever is now behind us. Now we're just waiting for E3 2018. What a peb. Hey, Canada. E to fee. Mitch Kurtzan. Gentlemen. Always a pleasure to see everyone. Always a pleasure. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, uh, apologies for not having the uh, E3 awards up on YouTube. Oh, dude, that shit's brutal. Uh, we're seemingly having a a copyright claim strike with some piece of shit company that uh, doesn't actually own any of the material, but uh, is just allowed to claim that they do anyways. Yep. Uh, so yeah, unless we want to take them to court, or at least threaten to, which I don't know if that's a good idea, uh, <clears throat> I might have to go back and re-edit that part of the video and re-upload it. I think that's which for the best. Which will be fucking lame. Just to get it out there. <clears throat> but it was one of the fucking coolest... <clears throat> what we should do is just sing it. Like... Just add our own little twist on it and add it up there. You know what part of the video is <clears throat> copyrighted? I yes. do, yeah. We do. Uh, it's the hashtag this guy fucks one with uh, that cover of Maniac playing. Yep. It's the Which cover the of Maniac. music was synced us. up perfectly to everything. And yep. What's up, barbecue baby? Anyways. It's awesome to see you guys. But we'll have it up at some point. Uh, yep, what's on the resume? It's not made tonight's major tea. Uh, we're going to do our classic games with Gold versus PlayStation Plus. By the way, we did not do it for June because it was E3 City. <clears throat> Yeah, who cares? So we're just doing July. Uh, we're going to talk about that NES classic Lux Nest Monster. You like what I did there? Huh? No. Huh? Yeah, I don't really care for it either. We're going to talk about fighting <laughs> games. And then finally, we're going to close the show by talking about Chainsaw Ape. Um, specifically, like, there's been some changes to Twitch over the last couple of weeks. And we want to talk about, uh, you know, with extra time that I am going to have. Um, a combination of those things has gotten me and you kind of thinking and talking about the future. So uh, I want to have a conversation with everybody. Live the sub button. We're definitely going to talk about the sub button. So uh, we're going to talk about that. We haven't. And, uh, I'm going to. There's a, there's a lot to talk about. You and I talked for about like you and I. Well, we didn't. Have, we haven't had time to sit down and talk about. That. Yeah, we haven't had time exactly. So you and I have had whatever re things going on that, since like last oh, time uh, you and I streamed together. Every, yesterday was fine. Everything everything's good. By the way. Yeah. Mr. Kurtzman asked earlier. I forgot to reply to that. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we haven't had a whole, a whole lot of time to talk since a lot of this stuff. You know, I've been posting a lot of stuff in the Facebook group and having conversations, but he and I have not actually had a conversation. We talked for about five minutes earlier mm. um, just to make sure that we weren't going to cover any, like, odd topics. But for the most part, we're going to have a decently open conversation between you and I and, and all of you guys <clears throat> at home or work or wherever. I mean, I'm fine. I prefer just doing it in front of everybody. You know? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's it's like, fun that way. You know, that, that was a... When I, you know, I'm a huge fan of uh, the Opie and Anthony show. I mean, they're not around anymore. But like, yeah. those are some of the best parts. Was like, absolutely. When there was shit going on behind the scenes, though, it just be talked about then. Yeah, you know? for sure. And, and getting that, the getting that sort of insight was like, I enjoyed that, those parts the most. Yep. So. <clears throat> yep. That's uh, good chip. So raw. just to go over like why I didn't stream yesterday, uh, you know, I said it was like family matter. You guys know that eight Canada is my mother. Uh, well, she has AIDS, fellas, uh, and I had to I had to deal with that. So I don't mean to everyone, laugh. Everyone say sorry about the AIDS to, to eight like. Canada. And uh, I'm sure sorry about the AJ Canada. Feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what else we got before we want to move on, or should we just? I go mean, that's pretty much it. I'm ready to, to dive it. in. If you're ready to dive in. Yep, I believe I believe I am. Let's do it. Let's fucking do this, man. Let's do it. Oh, All right. right. I'm sorry. I do want to caveat one more thing real quick. I had a few drinks earlier today. Uh -huh. I'm not much of a drinker, so I'm a little on the buzz side. I came in on my like, DKP. I'm slight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a lot. I'm a super lightweight. Sorry, folks. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm a little on the bus side, so I might get a little inappropriate or not cool <clears throat> in time. So apologies for future actions that I take. I had gin delivered to my house to make sure that it would be here. Well, we're going to have gin, but we're not going to have gin until our post stream. Which oh. makes sure if you guys uh, are watching this on YouTube, check out our post streams every Thursday night after prep 8. <clears throat> yep. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with PlayStation Plus versus Games with Gold. Now, before we go on, yeah, uh, please. what is the score? I think it's tied... Is it tied finally? It might be Xbox is up by one right now. Three Xbox, two PlayStation Plus. Sorry, guys. It's okay. 
It's not your fault. Uh, Stop using other people's dirty needles. First time I got drunk, yeah, I kept what, moaning in my was. sleep, which was super <laughs> uncomfortable for my, for my friend sleeping right next to me. <clears throat> he was like, I just picture him like Forrest Gump. Uh, 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 <laughs> What's uh, Mr. Guy's just sleeping on the swing and he's walking out. <laughs> what? <clears throat> All right. We got to get off, off top. Of it. So, oh man. Judging by the thumbnail, what you, what you picked. Yeah. I might know the winner already. But let's see. Right? All right. Um, so, so we're going we're gonna to start with PlayStation Plus. These are the games that you can get if you pay for PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live games with gold or Xbox Live. If you pay for those services, it comes with the ad- addition of games that are added to. Uh, the store every month that you can go and download for free and then keep as long as you're paying for the service. So we're going to start with uh, PlayStation. For PS4, you can get Until Dawn, mm-hmm. Game of Thrones, and I'm 90, the Telltale. I'm 90% sure it's the Telltale one. Because that isn't the only Game of Thrones game. Yeah. Believe it sure. or not. Yep. It's the only one that's worth talking about, more than likely. I, yes, 100%. Uh, for PS3, you get Tokyo Jungle or Dark Darkstalkers. Resurrection, which is a who the fighting fuck game, is right? Renee Zellweger? Uh, it's a. Uh, I'll, I'll read this quote real quick. It says, uh, "Better known as Vampire Resurrection." No, no, Japan. I, for Tokyo Jungle. Oh, okay. Uh, it's Tokyo after the apocalypse. You have to play role play as several animals mating and spawning new generations as you fight to survive. So okay. worth it. Fair enough. Picking up that Dawn game, signing into my PS4. There <laughs> you go, Dawn, baby. You mean? Yep. Yeah. Until Dawn is fucking phenomenal. It is. For the Vita, you can download Element 41. It's an indie game that has a dumb name, but the game is nicely done. That's a quote, by the way. I don't know how dumb it is or not. It's a puzzle platformer that lets you move about using the four elements. Fire for moving forward, ice for sliding along, and so on. Uh, Nice and free, so if you're a rare gamer with a Vita, go for it. Uh, Again, all that's a quote. Can I get PS3 games on my PS4? No. Uh, It depends on the game. What, really? I didn't think you could at all. It depends on the game. <clears throat> okay, so, well, fuck me then. Never um, and then finally, Don't Die, Mr. Robot, which is for Vita, but you can either log into your Vita or you can log into the store and buy the Vita version, and it gives you access to the PS4 version for free. Don't Die, Mr. Robot. Basically an arcade-style mm-hmm. game with an exploding fruit theme. Your job is to keep Mr. Robot, Robot alive as he p- munches his way through various types of fruit. <laughs> That's, That's fucking racist. racist. I want the jungles of Tokyo. <laughs> Get your PS3. By the way, I bought a PS3 recently. That reminds me of uh, that video clip that I used a long time ago in, in the Far Cry video on YouTube, on YouTube where that mm-hmm. old lady, or that lady's like, isn't that just as racist against homosexuals? <laughs> <laughs> and this old lady's like, it's just what? <laughs> you remember uh, that clip? No. Oh, that's fucking that's great. Good. Uh, <clears throat> I just bought a PS3. I re-bought yeah? a PS3. Yeah. Went to, went to old GameStop? I did. I went to GameStop. It was like 140 bucks for a pre-owned PS3. Did you get one of the thick ones? No, I got the smallest one where this thing slides across the top and you insert the disc. It doesn't have like a disc tray. You just slide the top off, put the disc in, slide it back on. I've never even seen that. You'll have to see it next time you come over. Oh, I will. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and I picked up uh, Heavy Rain because I've never yep. played through that. We, we, you know that there's a remastered version for sure. on PS4. Yeah, but I couldn't, couldn't pass up 10 bucks um, on the, uh, at GameStop. And Portal 2. Never played through that. And then, of course, Warhawk, which is my favorite multiplayer game of all time. Um, so, to actually talk about what we're here to talk about, Xbox One has Grow Up, the sequel to Grow Home, which is a Ubisoft indie title. Uh, Runbo, which it's, it's one of those games where everybody's racing by running, and then you do different things to create obstacles for people. So, like, if you're purple, you can run through purple blocks. But if you're any other color, when you run into that block, it'll stop you. So you have to, like, change the environment while you're running to slow everybody else down. Oh. Pretty neat little concept. Interesting. Um, For Xbox 360, you get Kane and Lynch 2. You know how I feel about that gem of a game. And then uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. Now, granted, both these games are for Xbox 360, but like we've talked about several times during a topic like this, uh, the 360 games are playable through backwards compatibility on Xbox One. Those, that's it. That's it. Well, I gotta go with Adify. Uh, PlayStation this month. Yeah, I think PlayStation. Although until Xbox, Dawn in itself is still worth full price. For sure, opinion. I completely agree with that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it to PlayStation as well. We've given it to Xbox the first few months of the year, and then the last couple of months has been PlayStation. So it sounds like PlayStation's finally stepping up their game. How much did you pay for your PS3, bro? 140. God damn. Yeah, I paid a lot for it, and it's used. 
Uh, Kirsten says, I'd pay 100 max for a brand new PS3 with a few games bundled in and a headset. Yeah. I don't disagree. Like, probably not worth the amount of money that I spent for it, but I was really craving some Warhawk, so. Well, did you, did you, you know, satisfy that craving? I did, yeah. Was Absolutely. it as good as you remembered it? It's, yeah. I'll just say, cool. yeah. I was going to say better, but I don't know if it's better. <clears throat> I had some good times with that game. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, congratulations, PlayStation. Good job. Good job, Sony. They're now one ahead, I think. They are now one ahead. So I'm good. honestly going to have to go back and watch some old episodes to get the accurate tally, because I'm not feeling 100% They confident. might be tied now. I'm not sure. Something like that. <clears throat> Next time we'll do this, we'll, we'll make sure we have the accurate. Thing. I'm not promising that either, but we're going to hope for it. <clears throat> we're going to hope yeah, for sure. it. What's up, Pates? Say you're going to. Uh, we're definitely going to, no doubt about it. Yeah, I, without I question. Bet DKP's life on it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I mean, when you have nothing to lose, you have nothing to lose. You know what I mean? That's true. So, what's going on, Paints? All right, <clears throat> move on to the next one, then? I'm totally uh, good to move on, baby. All right, let's I don't know how long this episode's going to be, but we'll see. The Loch Ness Monster. Well, if it's a short one, we'll just start the post-stream a little bit earlier. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, we don't know how long like, the Chainsaw Ape conversation is going to go on for. Yeah, who knows? So, we'll see. We're just, ha- we're just here to have fun, <clears throat> babies. Um, next up, the SNES Classic. It's something that's been talked about by Nintendo for several months, even before the NES Classic was discontinued. Uh, they finally announced it with a release date of September 29th uh, for the retail price of seventy nine ninety nine, which is $20 more expensive than the NES Classic. It comes with 21 games, which is 9 less than the NES Classic. It comes with an additional controller. The NES Classic only came with one. This comes <clears> with two. And the controllers have a 5-foot cord instead of a 3-foot cord, so you get a little bit of extra room on that. Um, the 21 games include the following. Contra 3 The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, never before released, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, my personal favorite SNES game, <clears throat> uh, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, and Super Punch-Out. Wow. That's a pretty fucking great list. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you might say, like, well, it sucks that there's less. Less games. For However, sure. when you consider that this sort of shit you're missing out on is shit like Balloon Fight. I was about to say, literally Balloon Fight. I was about to say, <laughs> know, Balloon I Fight, <laughs> I would say, is worth like Dude. 50 cents, and any one of these games is worth at least five bucks. How does it compare to the CSA list? Uh, ours is, without a without question, better, but not by leagues well, and bounds, Well, though. you remember we made a CSA I if they did an SNES collection. I do, collection. and ours was still better, but like... Yeah. Not by miles, you know what I mean? Like For sure. I was shocked how fucking good this list this was. This list is incredibly good. Although it is just mm-hmm. Nintendo, Konami, and Capcom. Well, dude, and Square. To me, that basically is... That's, yeah, that's Nintendo. everybody you need. You know that's I mean? all the important things. Uh, uh, I think the two biggest omissions, in my opinion, are, of course, Chrono Trigger and Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah, I feel like... I, I think it's pretty much unanimous that <clears throat> Donkey Kong Country 2 would have been a better fit. Absolutely. And also, uh, I know some people are going to say fucking... Like, you don't have to remove Final Fantasy VI yeah. to put Chrono Trigger on. I would agree. I'm saying I, you could. And I you, don't even or, think they should. Or better yet, if you have to replace something in that realm, Secret of Mana can fucking bounce, and Chrono Trigger needs to be put on there. And to be honest, I think if anything has a little bit, like, too much space or time on here, I'd say it's one of these Kirby, gar- Kirby games. Now, granted, Kirby Superstar is like eight Kirby games in one, and Kirby's Dream Course is like a putt-putt golf game, <clears> but, <throat> like... Kirby's Dream Course, I haven't played it. I hear it's incredible. But I feel like you could remove that in favor of something like a Chrono Trigger um, yeah. or a Donkey Kong Country 2. <clears throat> I'm shocked, for one, that, that fucking Super Castlevania 4 is on there. I'm not. Very we surprised. Because we got Castlevania 2 on the last one. Yeah, but like... One into it. I don't know. Right? I don't know why. I just did not expect to see that one on there. I'm also shocked that Mega Man X is on there. Uh, because yeah, again, dude, we had Mega Man Two on the last one. So once again, though, but that doesn't matter though. As far as like as far as I, as far as I'm thinking about Continue. it, because it's like there are so many more games that are way more popular that are talked about way more often. Yeah. That instead of uh, you know they went with 
that they want with Mega Man X and things like that. Castlevania. Um, <clears throat> the the so Super like Ghouls and like Ghosts was a surprising one. Too. That's another one. <clears throat> yeah. Not um, not that it's bad. I think it's great that it's there. But that's a surprising one. Earthbound, I think, is a pleasant surprise as well. Again, not surprising, but a pleasant surprise. Well, now, uh, so he, here's here's what pleasant <clears throat> surprise. So uh, focus on that. As I think most people know, like we collect games, right? Yeah. Like I, I, mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the rest of, of Valhalla here, but there's yeah, you and bookshelves both, everywhere full we buy of shit. lots of video games. Uh, and so like I know the pricing of most of these games, and like Earthbound is easily like over a hundred dollars, just regular ass cartridge, right? Yeah. Uh, Star Fox Two never even fucking came out. Now there are uh, like Wii Pro cards if you really want to go down that path. That's still a decent bit of money. Mario RPG is like seventy fucking dollars for sure. Uh, I mean, if you find it like at a good price, uh, Mega Man X, like they picked ones that like a lot of people, if they even if they still had their Super Nintendo, and they're like, well, maybe I should just play it, like wouldn't be able to afford. Yeah, Earthbound I think is probably the most expensive one. Yeah, on if the you list. bought all the carts for every game on this list, it'd probably cost you upwards of six hundred bucks. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and that's the, that's why like I really <clears throat> dig on the list too because. Yeah. Uh, and he, but he, he, that does also go with like a caveat though, which is like they better not fuck the supply issue, especially because they have an unreleased game on here. That's the Loch Ness monster of the whole thing. Yeah, supply issues. Now, granted, Nintendo said before, and they even said when they announced it that they are ramping production up incredibly <clears throat> or increasingly to the point to where it shouldn't be as much of a concern. But that doesn't mean shit to me. Right. If they were, if they would have quadrupled the amount of NES classics, they still would have been sold out everywhere. Yep. Are you guys I mean, gonna buy one if you can? Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, both of us plan to. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna play it for collectors. I, I would like to get two: one to keep in the box, and then one to. Collect. If I could, if if I could buy two, I would. Uh, if I says he's getting two. But uh, like for my NES classic that I have, like that's staying in the box permanently. I played mine. It's still. <clears throat> well. But, uh, yeah, so the other thing, uh, I, I dare I say five-foot cable is still not enough. No, definitely not enough. I bought a, an extender for my NES Classic that, uh, that is three feet, mm -hmm. so I have five feet, and it's still not enough. I still have to sit on the edge of my couch. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and here's the thing, like, you, no shit, right? I can buy, like, a 30-fucking-foot HDMI cable yeah. at retail price for, like, $3. Like, you could have stretched that cable to, like, eight feet. Yeah, and that would have been probably like, probably okay. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but let's be honest here. Who the fuck are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Us? No, we're talking about Nintendo. Oh, like yeah, sure, we'll make it longer. Is uh, 24 inches okay? <laughs> like, no, a little bit. You almost had it, but you didn't. You fucked. Yeah. But I mean, that's small price to pay for for something like this. Uh, do you know what the retail price of this is? Seventy nine ninety nine, eighty bucks. <clears throat> How much was the uh, NES Classic? Fifty nine ninety nine. Guess that cable feet extra. Combined four. And again, it only came with one controller. Bit. Yeah, I do like how this one comes with two. And also, <clears throat> I these are actual Super Nintendo controllers. Are they though? Or, yeah. Like, are they though? I mean, they look like Super Nintendo controllers. I know they look like them. As in, like and the, I would love the end of it. Be, I would love for them to in. be. Exactly how they were. Actually, they may be a little bit smaller. Looking at the uh, SNES Classic, we don't know how how big it is though. Uh, get it? Yep. Some sort of penis joke. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, <clears throat> uh, as far as everything else on the list, I don't know, man. Uh, the only thing I'm super concerned about <clears throat> is like you you have an unreleased game, and for people yeah. who are like uh, you know opposed to using emulators for morality purposes. You know, or, or repro cards like this would be their one chance For to sure. play Star Fox Two. Yep, you know, what legally I mean? anyway. Yes, uh, unless they upload it to the Virtual Console, which yeah. as of right now doesn't even exist. Uh, so yeah, that's I find that to be pretty fucking important. Yeah, Quizical says that's a mighty fine list of <clears throat> games. It absolutely yeah. is. Uh, Paint says I would like to get this. Probably not since I didn't get the NES. I'm kind of a completionist in some instances. I feel you. <clears throat> One of the main reasons I want it, even if I wasn't, even if we just got the SNES Classic, I don't want that. Uh, Idify says, hopefully I can trade one for the NES Classic. Um, Barbecue says, I'm sure there'll be third, plenty of, or there will be third-party controllers for this bad boy that will have longer cables. Definitely. 
one third scale Super Nintendo controllers. The controllers will be the same size. <clears throat> it looks like oh, the ports suck. aren't a different size though. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Nintendo better release Star Fox Two on the Virtual Console. I agree. Same sort of thing. How they released uh, Earthbound Zero, <clears throat> Mother One. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm fully aware that like retro pies exist, or, or you know, you don't even need that. You can just if you have any sort of computer or smartphone, you can do that. But, but that's not a, quite the point, though. Yeah, there's a legality you know? to it, and just. Well, it, even if you don't give a shit about legality, it's like it's not quite the point. That's fair. It's it's the point of like having the 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 unit there, and yeah, I don't know, it's just something something special about it for sure. Uh, Quizgo says, does it have original save locations or ability <clears throat> to save your state like you can with an emulator? Uh, the NES Classic had the ability to do save. Yes, yeah, so I would assume this one would. So do. yeah, <clears throat> just based on assumption, so, no uh, uh, factual data. You know what that means? What's that? You can finally beat Super Ghouls and Goblins. Oh. Because otherwise, no, you just ain't, it ain't fucking happening. That's it true. ain't the cards. True. So, yep. That is the SNES Classic. As of right now, as far as I know, there are uh, still no pre-orders available. Correct. Uh, make sure you can follow a lot of different things. I would recommend following Wario64 on Twitter, if you, do, if you have a Twitter account and use it regularly, because he posts availability of things like this very consistently. Um, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart all have like blank pages where you can go and sign up to be notified when it becomes available. I'd recommend doing that if you're really hungry for one. Outside of that, I would get to a, I would take the 29th off and I would go stand in somewhere in line on the 28th, of which is probably what month, I'm going right? to do. Yeah. Or September. Oh, sure. So we got a little bit. Yeah, we got a little bit. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, having owning most of these titles and emulators and all devices, best emulator experiences would be one of these things. A Pi, my old DS. Sure. Something about playing a game on a Nintendo console is a side effect. <clears throat> also true. Yep, with the actual, like, controller, you know? It's, yeah. But, uh... Feels, just feels right. So, yeah, uh, I guess here in the coming weeks, we're going to have to stay one step ahead and make our 64 list. Absolutely. We will definitely do that. So probably next week, I think? Uh, hopefully next week. It depends on what kind of news and stuff comes out between <clears throat> now and then. All right. Well, uh, apart from that, we should fucking move on. Okay, let's do it. I mean, unless you got anything else on SNES Classic. Uh, no, I'm very excited about it. Yeah. I will get one whether I have to murder a small child or not for it. And, uh, yeah. All right. I'm excited. So, uh, three, three, two, one. Two, fight. One. In games. Fighting. Right. Hmm? Yeah, no, you're correct. Um, <clears throat> so, you and I haven't really talked about what the idea for this topic is. But I, fuck you with the... the oh, no, I definitely put that Joker in there just for you. Just I fucking hate you. that thing, man. So, this topic covers, covers, <clears throat> covers a couple of different things. Number one, we've never talked about fighting games. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, this, this year in particular has had a lot of fighting games. Injustice, ARMS, if you want to count that as a fighting game. Tekken, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's coming out. Uh, Street Fighter continues to get updates. So it's a great year for fighting games if you're a fighting game fan. Obviously, the Dragon Ball Z Fighters looks incredible. Uh, that's on the way. Guilty Gear X-Hard Revelators 2 or some shit like that. That came out this year. A lot of fighting games this year. A lot that I feel like have done in an incredibly good job being impressive. Um, but in addition to this, over the last month or so, you... Uh, have taken an interest in fighting games in a way that you and I haven't seen or talked about before previously. So I want to kind of talk to you about that interest and what spawned it and um, what are the, you know, what you kind of are getting out of this whole thing and uh, just want to see how that kind of progress is working out for you. Not well. <laughs> but yeah. I just haven't had, I haven't had as much time as I would like to, to dedicate to it. But basically, uh, <clears throat> no, I started watching this video series of a guy who, uh, it's Core A Gaming, by the way. Core A Gaming. Yeah. Fantastic fucking YouTube channel. Uh, it talks about, like, kind of the philosophy behind, like, fighting games and, like, certain mechanics. But does it in a way that it's, like, even if you don't give a shit about fighting games, it's pretty wide-arcing to, like, gaming yeah. in general. I could say, personally, I watched one with you, and I, it's super fascinating, engaging in the right kind of way. So, <clears throat> it may be one of Some of the most professional fucking, games. like, editing I've seen out of any videos, period. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it just like it goes over like community and like kind of what's special about that. Uh, and you you learn like kind of like when I first discovered like speed running with like G when you know start watching GDQs, uh, which I tried my hand at might again someday. But like 
you know, it was cool diving into that community and seeing, like, all the inside jokes and all, like, the different, you know, sort of, uh, sort of personalities that existed within it and how they interact sure. and, you know, what their craft is. Um, you know, for, and for many, what, what, their, what, what their craft is, like, you know, they make a living and how and, like, uh, kind of the same thing with a lot of these fighting games. Uh, Street Fighter particularly was the one that I was looking at. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, never had fucked with it at all. And my experience of fighting games growing up was basically, like, you had a friend who owned Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and they would invite you over to their house. Say, hey, you want to go back to my house and play Mortal Kombat? You say, the yeah, Mad sure. Cats controller. You get the Mad Cats controller, and they 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 practice their ass off because they owned it, and you yeah. just get stomped over and over again until it's like, all right, time to go home. Yeah, <clears throat> that was like the entirety of my experience of fighting. Games. Absolutely, like, I swore Being off, that friend. I yep. swore them off before I was twelve years old. Like never again. Like yeah. fuck this. People are always dicks about being good at fighting games too, which. I guess people are, if somebody's good at something and they invite their friend over to play with them, they're usually dicks about it in general. Yeah. But, like, fighting game people in particular just, like, don't let, don't let up on you. Like, don't go easy on you. Don't try to teach you things. They just fucking annihilate you and be like, I'm better at video games than you. Yeah. Well, How you like it? No, that's the thing. Like, I'm pretty fucking good at Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, I'll I, never I've play played, I've played, like, reason. over 100 hours in there, like, or hundreds of hours. Uh, just against, like, Zod or, you know, uh, Angry Tomato. Which has stands no fucking chance. Tasty. Yeah. But it's like, you do never have I gloated about being better, except for like on Tasty, because he gets really pissed off. It's funny. But like, he was, he was up there. So there was some sort of challenge, right? Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, what you risk the, 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 the possibility happening is like, you whoop someone's ass really bad, and then you're just like, I'm not going to play with you anymore. Yeah. And absolutely. then you don't have anyone to play that fucking game with. For sure. So, like, yeah, I don't see the point in, in really doing that. Now, as a kid, it, you know, it just kind of comes naturally that you do that. The same way in which, like, as a kid, you'd be like, look, Mom, that guy's fat as fuck. And they're like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. They were pointing at me, by the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, just like, that sort of, like, they're not really socially aware. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, so my progress is, like, uh, there, there are tutorials online for, like, how to get good at Street Fighter. And, like, the, the point is, like, don't button match. Yeah. Like, know what you're doing. And then, like, there's this whole psychology to it, which is, like... That's one of the things that fascinates me. Yeah. Is, is... It's one you of know, there's things, like, you have to understand the distance, and there's, like, geometry associated with, like, hitboxes and how to make sure that hitboxes are appropriately placed mm -hmm. and uh, being X amount of inches close to someone or far from someone, <clears throat> what type of moves are the most effective. But beyond that is being is little tail tells or like faking people out where you do like fake Hadoukens and things like that, where you're like, this they're about to do a Hadouken, but yeah. the belt they do it uppercut. It seemed instead. way more intricate in like but not uh, you know, unapproachable. Because the it's videos like, I feel like make it approachable, but just yeah. in general thinking about it yeah, super you, unapproachable. Yeah, if, that community if, is just too too much. Well, but that's thing you got to take like one step at a time. Absolutely, like anything, you got to practice. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. Luckily, I already have like a fighting stick, you know, which is not required, but in my experience, it makes you easier. feel cool. Well, I'm not going to go into specifics of like dead zones or whatever, but like not those dead <clears> zones. <throat> just watch uh, what is it called again? Triple A gaming or core something? A gaming. Yeah. Core fact, A gaming. I'll link yeah, the YouTube channel here and there. But uh, if, if you want a good place to start, there's a video he has on teabagging and why it shouldn't, whether it should or should not be allowed. Okay. Because it's a because his argument is like, well, people are like, well, teabagging after you know killing someone and fighting, that's fucked up. But it's like well, it's a mind game thing. If you can piss that person off, or they're going to get mad and start making mistakes, that's just part of it. Yeah. And it's uh, so yeah. Super interesting. Yeah, I'll go ahead and link that right now. Um, so yeah, uh, this topic is kind of broad. Obviously we're talking about experiences that DKP's having with it. Um, and we mentioned earlier, a lot of games came out this year. Have you played any of the fighting games that launched this year? I have. I've actually played Injustice 2, uh, okay. about two weekends ago. Uh, I went over to Old Angry Tomatoes' house. Uh, he owns it. it it's okay. It, Dude, I love it. We'll, we'll like, talk about that here in a second. But Some of, uh, I'm not sure. Like, <clears throat> there's two types, well, there's, I'm sure there's multiple types, but, like, uh, this would be an easier way to put it, like, there's more like two types of fighting games. There's one's like Street Fighter, and there's one's yeah. like Mortal Kombat. Yep. Uh, and, they, and they, especially the more modern ones, play very different as far as, like, style. Absolutely. Um, and then I, I guess, like, you have, you know, MVC and that sort of thing, which 
falls closer to Street Fighter, but like, yeah, I would agree. If you put them on the opposite sides of the spectrum, uh, like Street uh, MVC is extremely fast. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> uh, or you know, you take Street Fighter Turbo, uh, but like Mortal Kombat, like everything's really fucking slow and kind of more not more meticulous than I'd say like Street Fighter, but uh, definitely more so than MVC. For sure. Um, I, know, I, I, I mean, I think like you're being a bit derivative on it, but yes. You're like one of them's really fast and fluid, and one of them's just fucking. I know. I'm slow. not saying simple. I'm not saying fast and fluid. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not saying like Mortal Kombat's not intuitive yeah. or fluid or anything like that. But like, it definitely has like a slower pace as far as combat, like and as far as combos go. Yeah. You, look at look at that in Killer Instinct for sure, right? Like, no, I think that's, that's a good and, comparison. And like, even something like Soul Calibur uh, and Tekken, I think all yeah. those games kind of fit into similar similar structure. Where like. The games that primarily, if you're talking about like the Guilty Gears mm. or um, what are those other, there's another fighting game series that I'm thinking of. Oh well. Yep, yep. Darkstalkers is one. I mean. Yeah, Dark <clears throat> Darkstalkers. Anything that's like Tekken. Primarily just like hand drawn 2D animation. Stuff made by uh, uh, Arc System Works. <clears throat> any of those types right. of games. Uh, scroll up. We missed a bunch of comments and yeah, I don't want to leave anybody out. Injustice is. Basically, more in line with Mortal Kombat. Maybe Absolutely, yeah. Studio. It's made, yeah. It's made by the same team. Uh, body blow, body blow, because he was talking shit about how he beat you in Street Fighter. Oh yeah, okay. Heaven yeah. says, get over here. I if I did beat me at, at the Switch version of Street Fighter here in Vegas. There, and just said, let everyone know. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. You know, but I'll next get time, you, bitch. I was about to say, but next time, uh, Pev says the fighting game Hustle. They might let you win one, but then no mercy. True story. <laughs> Uh, hi, Mysterious Dude. Good to see you. With other games, your skills transfer over. Halo players, Call of Duty players have a basic understanding of the mechanics. Yep. I think it's the same sort of thing with fighting games, but you have to understand fighting games, and I think that that's the most challenging part, is I can understand, like, <clears throat> pulling up the sights and shooting with someone in the head increases my success rate. Obviously, there's a lot more complexity to it than that, um, but with something like fighting games, you have, to, you have to have a really good understanding of things like hitboxes and reach and timing and just different moves to be able to, uh, how to pull off combos, which combos to pull off, high attacks, low attacks, air <clears throat> attacks, stuff like well, that. Well, and it's so. also like, and then this was like the fun part about MVC we played, but like, house rules were you, you only pick randoms. All three of your people. Yeah. Right? And that allowed you to get pretty good with each character, but also like, you would know the strengths and weaknesses of all the other characters, too. For sure. And that's like the other big part of it, you know? <clears throat> Uh, is this like a talk show sort of thing? Uh, yes, this is a, we a weekly. It's like a, I guess if you want to call it like a live podcast. It goes on for an hour once a week at uh, Thursday at seven. And then afterwards we have a post stream, which uh, for you know everyone knows is Final Fantasy Seven for now. Speaking of, I actually so, renamed it on our channel as uh, Babby's first Final Fantasy Seven. All right, cool. It's not called whatever it was called for Thursdays. Now it's yeah. We're just gonna keep calling it that until we finish it, and then I was thinking whatever. We'll talk about that next. Very cool. <clears throat> or, oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's so, a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, bottom line as far as, like, for anyone who's kind of unsure about fighting games, uh, which I was for a long fucking time, right? Uh, they're worth giving a chance, and if you just kind of stick a little bit of time, get good at one character yeah. that you like, and then, like, once, once you're past that barrier of, like, not knowing what the fuck to do, it becomes a lot more enjoyable. Like, for sure. By leagues and fucking bounds. Like, to where it's like, now I get it. Which, if you'd asked me even four years ago, I wouldn't have. I'd have been like, no way I'm playing a fighting game. Yeah. Fucking ever, you know? Um, I want to talk a little bit about my experience with Injustice 2. <laughs> yeah. uh, I adored my time with Injustice 2. Now, I did do a stream, uh, Jay Diggs and I did a stream where we were kind of working our way through the campaign. Uh, finished the campaign up, replayed it with all the other characters, making all the <laughs> alternate decisions that I made. Um, leveled up a lot of the characters. Um, and they're... <clears throat> What's really important for me, for one of the reasons I don't like a game like ARMS, which I haven't said that publicly yet, but I don't like ARMS. I mean, neither. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, I've tried really hard. I've really put in a lot into it, and we'll talk about more of that here in a moment, but I just can't get behind that game. Um, but with Injustice 2, um, there are all these little hooks that it gives, whether it is alternate costumes that you unlock by progressing through the game, uh, you get experience as you complete fights that level up those respective characters that give you the ability to unlock more stuff. There's, of course, the natural like um, human addiction of loot boxes that it has existed <laughs> right. over the last few years that are in the game that the majority of the, I would say, there's different types of transactions. There's actual 
uh, financial microtransactions, but those aren't associated with improving your character, like getting better armor or anything like that. Those are just specifically about getting alternate colors for your costumes. So if you, you know, if you want like a all red Superman, uh, you may have to pay some money to get something like that. But if you want to get all these different armors for Superman, then you earn those through in-game, and you cannot buy into those, which I guess we're talking about microtransactions at this point, but I guess sure. the point of it is, is to me, these are good microtransactions. Good. Um, in well, that they don't change the game. So they don't go. alter the game, They're optional. and for the, the people who are obsessed with the game, who want the, the ability to show off their, you know, their purple Harley Quinn, they can do that if they want. Um, which I think those are the best types of microtransactions. Um, and you pick which ones you want. You're like, I want the purple one. And that's the one you buy. So it's not, <clears throat> there's no like, uh, randomization to it. So, um, <clears throat> but the story mode I really enjoyed a lot. I really like the way they do. There's just a, it's easy enough to be a pick up and play thing where you can do button mashing and be successful in the game and have fun with it. But also there's enough complexity to it to if you want, really want to dive in and learn the moves and get good with a particular character, it gives you the option to, to do that as well. Um, and, you know, it's, there's always a suspension of belief that you have to have with, like, how the fuck is Green Arrow going to fight Superman? But they do some creative ways of giving each of the characters good moves that make it, you know, more digestible. <clears throat> sure. So. But, yeah. No, I mean, I liked it. I liked it as well. I'm not. That was a weird way to end that because it made it look like I was discounting everything you just said. But, yeah. like, no, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it, but it's just not sort of my shit, but I do For agree sure. with all your points on it. Um. Let's read a couple of comments, and then I want to talk a little bit about arms. Sure, let's do it. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't mind saying he's going to get good at NPC Infinite. I think I'm going to cancel my pre-order on it. Really? Why? I'm t- I don't like the way it looks. And I have the $200 pre-order, so the $200 that I have on a game right now. That I'm just like, I don't know <clears throat> if I'm going to enjoy this that much. Like, if I do, I might. it's one of those games that's like, I'll wait till the complete edition comes out, and I can drop it. 40 bucks on Like, I have it pre-ordered. Uh, I'm going to have the ability to cancel it. It gets close enough. I think. I'm but, gonna like, it. yeah. Uh, well, the, the developer, I'd rather get 20 fucking look, look, indie games the developers, the developers said, like, they took everyone's feedback and they're going to be... Yeah. As long uh, as they don't make Chun-Li... No, they, they specifically the said okay. they're changing that. Uh, yeah, I played the demo and I, I can't say I liked it, honestly. A Chun-Li a, No, just the all of it, basically. Yeah, it looked fucking extremely cheap. The animations for like were, were terrible. The characters like they looked I, they looked like fucking action figures. Which if that's the art direction, the great job. But like I don't like it. Like for example, like <laughs> great job. Did you ever have like any sort of action figure that had a cape? Yeah. Did you ever have one with, like a plastic cape? Yep. Towards like, yep. That's what Doctor Strange looks like. His cape fluffed out like this, and he floated around with it, and it didn't move. Like it, it was like it was made out of the literal, like, kind of, whatever, soft plastic that you get in an action figure. Um, the, the, uh, the, the way that you fight was, like, you could just mash square, and it would do a combo for you. Which is, like, so if you land a hit, hypothetically, you just do a combo. Like, it, it didn't make sense. And it, like, now, with MVC, there are two different modes. Normally, there's normal and simple. And if that was the simple mode, fine, but, like, they didn't make that clear, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so far, like, I don't, judging by the demo that we played, which I was super hyped to play, like, I don't really like anything of it, <laughs> which sucks. <laughs> that does suck. Yeah. It's something that we're, like, we're never going to get another one just because Marvel's doing its thing with Disney. It's never going to happen. It gets announced, we lose our minds, and then it's just like, <sighs> yeah, I've I got Really hope they fix that that shit because uh, uh, yeah. Scroll back up to that arms comment. I want to read that. Sure, from Kurtzen. Said I uh, saw a video on arms and there is a bullshit character that allows them to fuck up anyone who gets too close and heal themselves. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't with them. <clears throat> uh, Pivot is asking, how did your date go? Well, I got to show off my purple Harlequin. Oh. So pretty good. <laughs> I think that's the best thing about Injustice. The story, I agree. The story is great. Uh, the next Injustice game is going to be called Injustice for All. Yeah, I, I liked the uh, first one. And I, yeah. I mean, it's not that I didn't like the second one, it's just uh, I don't own it, so I didn't play the story mode. But, for sure. Uh, that Ms. was Marvel the highlight. Miss Marvel does like it. 
Uh, I thought they did a slight step back in the graphics based on the demo. MVC3 was the best. Bridge Barbecue says, hey, fish boys, how's the water? It's cool, baby. You want to jump in with us? <clears throat> yeah, any, any hardcore fighting enthusiast will tell you MVC3 sucked, but as somebody who's not at that level, MVC yeah. was my, MVC3 is my favorite. For sure. Um, what's going on, Bridge Barbecue? The water's fine. It's, it feels real good. I was wondering why it was a little warm. Oh, yeah. That so, happens. tell me about ARMS. I'm chomping at the bit I, to hear why you don't like it. Okay, so I ARMS, like it. you know, I've been and speaking very highly and excited about, like, how I love well, the style, and I'm like, it had the they're going to put the Nintendo flair on it, yeah. and it's going to be great, and all these things. And for the most part, all of that is true. However, number one, it definitely doesn't justify a $60 price tag. I'd say... It'd be worth it at twenty dollars, and at thirty dollars, it's a good price for Nintendo fans, just so they can say that they've experienced the new Nintendo IP. Um, but it is there. It is such. It is so light on content that I am like forcing myself to play it to make my purchase worth it. And after a, like about a week and a half, where I'm like, I need to go back and play Arms. I only, I only played through it with three. I only played through the arcade mode. Or the fighting where you have to fight ten people. Yep. I only did that three times. I need to go through go through it with the other seven characters because there's ten characters. I'm like I really need to do that. I need to take some time. There, and it's, to do nothing that. is different enough. With the exception nothing of like, enough. with the exception of the guy who has like a little minion to fight for. I'm like, but even that, there's not any like depth or layer to it that makes it super intriguing. And granted, again, we're not like super uh, super fighting game aficionados or anything. Sure, but like but, I have, well, I haven't seen anybody from the fighting community being like this game. This is game is death. yeah. Like, well, no. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, it's like Power it, Stone. It most certainly feels like the game wants you to button mash. Because, like, none of, your, none of your attacks go exactly how you want them to go. I actually think that there's a little bit more to it than that. I like, there the, is, the jumping like, and dodging and stuff, I think all that stuff works well. But the problem is, is, like, that's it. The, when you watch a video of arms, you can watch one fight, one video of an arms fight, and that's the entire thing. The only thing that changes are the characters and then the gloves that they have. Yeah. And then, uh, as someone who's tried, I tried every different glove type for the three characters that I played through the arcade mode with, and uh, there's not a big enough or interesting enough difference. It wasn't like there's one that shoots well, three I just little. Couldn't find any that I like. What? I couldn't find any that I like. I couldn't find any that I disliked, but well, I didn't find the one that was like, oh, that feels good. Exactly. I feel like I That's could kind do, of the I feel piece like to I it. I could do well with that. Yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. Where it's that. like, oh man, this feels great, and I'm enjoying this, and I can't wait to get really good with this. I didn't have that feeling with any of the glove options. So obviously, there's little modes in it, like there's a volleyball mode, but that doesn't have any depth to it. No. Uh, there's a target <laughs> punching mode that doesn't have any depth the, the, to the it. The basketball so. one's fucking um, stupid. The core game that's there is solid. Is really, it really like. I mean, yeah, it's it's yeah, solid, it plays but not well. for sixty fucking plays, dollars. Well, though, like. uh, no, I agree with that. It plays well and it looks incredibly good. But there isn't any depth. There isn't any reason to play it more than once unless you want to get really good with certain characters. Yep. Um, if you're like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat my friend's ass, <laughs> <clears throat> then it's it's not too bad with something like that. But it <clears throat> there's there's nothing there. There's no uh, there's no broth to go with your potatoes, or your your tater soup. That was the analogy I was using there. No. Did okay. that work for you? No, no, no it didn't. Okay. Volleyball mm -hmm. mode, sign my gas. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I uh, when I went to purchase the game, I, I thought it was going to be forty dollars, and when I saw it was sixty, like I knew that I was going to have to buy it because I, I, I know people that wanted to play it with me. We might play it on the stream, not anymore. Like I think that ship sailed. I, I still think we should, but I don't. I don't ever want to. I have to be. I'm going to have to be. Just, I'd rather just play any other game people want to see than that one. Yes, I'm, it's. I played it for like a combined total of forty minutes, and I even played it like with somebody. And I'm fucking over it. Like I'm bored. Like I don't think there's anything else I could get from it. But like that was the worst time in in, in memory for me that I felt <laughs> no spending sixty dollars on something. Yeah. No, like, I know you're where you're going. With it. Uh, I says I had fun with the volleyball. And I knew I when I games. bought it too. Like yeah. I didn't even. I just knew. Uh, barbecue says arm should have been a twenty dollar digital exclusive. Completely agree. It's not bad, it's just not worth $60. No. Give me a full, robust, single-player mode. Give me some sort of cool-ass thing where it's like I have to traverse through a map and I'm having to, like, punch around trees to get to different enemy types and stuff like that. Like, give me some sort of complexity to it. I mean, Splatoon I, had that. Yeah, Splatoon had a, has a single-player. Yeah. Like, six, seven-hour single-player. 
you know what? The other it's thing not is, the greatest like, single player in the world, but there's definitely it added variety to it. And I know there are a lot of updates coming for ARMS. They're adding new characters and stuff like that. But, but there's no the, confirmation none, none, of expanding none, the actual game. None of the current existing characters are endearing, like, to that point. I don't really. know if I agree with that. I like some of the characters. How much do you like? Enough to keep playing the fucking game? Yeah, but it's not no. the character. It's not the characters that are keeping me in, and it's not it the characters that keep me in most games. I mean, I think the characters actually do a great job. It's not. So you, 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 you. You don't think uh, in most games is what I said. Okay. So, but you can continue. I was, gonna, I was gonna say. So Nathan Drake had nothing to do with how much you liked. Uncharted series. No, he does. Okay. He definitely well, does. Well, never mind. He, he, you, said, uh, you said most games. Uh, okay. Waiting for Splatoon 2 now, for sure. Would you say Star Wars Battlefront and ARMS have some of the same challenges? Uh, I would, but I... Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, I think a lot of the issues I have with Battlefront play are... Battlefront again than ARMS, though. Yeah, that's but, the thing. It's like if it was like Tommy play Battlefront or play ARMS, I would actually choose to play Battlefront. But yeah. uh, I think they do suffer the same challenges. I think... Uh, Battlefront 2 is working to fix a lot of that stuff, just like I hope ARMS 2 will fix a lot of those problems. Well, let's hope. So don't buy... <laughs> do not buy ARMS, well, period. Uh, I, I do think you should buy ARMS, but I think you should wait till it's 20 bucks. Which but is probably never going to Exactly. Be. That, there, there's a Nintendo tax that you have to pay for video games. So uh, the cheapest it'll probably ever get is $30. Ever. And that's kind of uncalled. I really fucking hate Nintendo. I, like, I love Nintendo. It's like Disney. It's like we, I love their I love their products a lot, but I fucking hate them as a company so bad. You know what I mean? Like, so you have to caveat like I hate yeah. the company, not uh, their IPs, and you know I like Reggie. I, I agree that Battlefront was better, Barbecue and Idify. I agree that it was better, but I think what Pebbs is talking about are the challenges yeah, that it has, and I think that the challenges scale. are the same. Yeah. My issue with Battlefront, the original Battlefront, was there wasn't a whole lot of. Um, extra for me to want to mm. grab onto. I'm like trying to do these challenge modes where I'm riding a fucking scooter thing through indoor, and that was cool, but it lasts about 45 <laughs> seconds, and you're like, well, that was cool. I'll never sure. do that again. So, um, yeah. There, there wasn't a rewarding like progression system in terms of uh, ranking up and unlocking a lot of new stuff. There is one, but it just didn't feel super cool. Mario, but without Mario, and with some other character like Johnny Bravo would totally suck. I don't know. I, I do like Johnny Bravo. Whatever. Uh, PB and Jizzle says, if SNES Classic has enough stock, it will make up for Nintendo's E3 Virtual Console fuck-up. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> um, it, we'll just see what happens I, first. If it was like, Tommy, would you rather have an SNES Classic or all of those games available on Switch? I get, I'd do Virtual Console. I would, too. Down. And I'd pay $5 a piece for them. I'd pay more than $80 for all those games if you put them on the Switch. <clears throat> It's called a speeder bike, you asshole. That's fair. Rudy's Barbecue. You're a All subscriber right. here at uh, Chainsaw. You can get away with that. <laughs> yeah, you can get away with that shit. So, uh, what do you think? Should we move on? Because we've got ten minutes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. i talk about uh, the rest of the stuff. So I was intentionally trying to keep that topic a little long, and it went longer than I in anticipated. Ooh. That's always fun. Ooh. That's always right. fun. So, the last topic for uh, this evening. I was, uh, let's talk about Chainsaw, man. You like that cat? I don't. <laughs> When you just Google the words, let's talk, why would you hit image? Okay. I went through a lot of shit, and I was like, that's the one. I want that one with the cat. I knew I could just type the word. I could have drawn a shitty little picture, and it probably would have held put more the logo clout. There. Yeah. But, yeah, but that little kitty cat with his, with his little green shadow being like, let's talk. No, I ain't about that life, man. Um, <laughs> okay, so to give a little bit of background or context... Um, as I am transitioning out of EA, I'm starting to think more and more about Chainsaw Ape and what I want us to do and where I want us to grow and how I want things to happen if I want to stream more or less, because I'm going to have more free time. Not tons of free time, but I will have more opportunity to stream more. So I've been trying to figure out what I can do and should do. And I started thinking about our number of followers, which is always a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> once you start thinking about the number of followers you have and you're like, is that... Once you try to quantify your success based on this number... It, it can it can have a negative reaction on how you feel about things. Um, well, I mean, only if, like, I would say that that's true, that was true a year and a half ago. Yeah, it hasn't been an issue for me for the last year and a half, but specifically last week, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do some research. I created a new Reddit account, and I started, I joined the our Twitch, and I started talking to some of those guys a little bit, and I created a topic about it. The topic got removed, but I think that's because my account was so new. I don't really know how Reddit works. 
Yeah, that's that's fucking pretty stupid because uh, like I'm on that subreddit. Like I, yeah. I subscribe to it just in case. Like I, I you know, there, there's occasionally there's good stuff there. Most of the shit there is like, hey, I have social anxiety and I shit my pants when I have to talk in front of people. How can I become a, a full time streamer? And it's like adult diapers. Well, no, it's just like or or like. I got one person in my, in my 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 chat tonight. I'm fucking stoked, and I had to come here and post about it. And everyone's like, "Yeah, it's more like a support group." You know what I mean? Which is like, that's fine. And like, I'm not saying any of those posts are shitty, right? But it's weird that you're saying like, it was asking about like retention. Yeah. Like, how do we have? Because we, we've, we've been going. We've been. We have going like on average like two years. We have like on average like six people per night for sure, which is like. More than enough considering who they are. You Absolutely. Know. But, like, we have 700 people that, like, supposedly have committed to follow, but, like, so what's with the retention rate? That was what yeah. you were asking about, which is pretty fucking legitimate. For so sure. I don't know why yours got removed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so, 100% sure. Uh, <clears throat> certain subreddits have shitty mods. I would watch that person if yeah. he shits his pants on air. No, true story. <laughs> um, so I want to go over the feedback that we got from there. I also want to go over the feedback that we got from, because I reached out to the community through our Facebook group. Um, and kind of ask their feedback and ideas and stuff like that. Yeah. And I want to go over all that feedback and kind of discuss it with you. Because like I said, DKP and I have not discussed this together at all. And then just kind of talk about a couple of different ideas. So uh, we probably are going to run a little bit long tonight, but uh, buckle in, strap in. This is a really long way to tell us we aren't good enough. I get it, guys. <laughs> oh, if, if there's anything that's not good enough. And uh, Rudy's, to be honest, like you, uh, the, uh, the events that transpired over the last 24 hours, has definitely like put a lot of thought in my mind of like what do we need to do? Uh, Rudy's congratulations and thank you so much. You're the very first subscriber of Chainsaw Ape, um, which is so awesome and so greatly appreciated. But I've been thinking a lot about like how the fuck do we make this worth it for Rudy's? Like, what do we need to do to make sure that Rudy's feel like he's getting his you know his money's worth? His well, time if you if input. you FedEx your dick here, I'll suck it. But I'm not coming to you. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so one of the comments said uh, giveaways. That was pretty much the only comment. He said, "To be honest, the follower number doesn't really matter," and that's fair. And that they're not incorrect. I once I started letting go of how many followers we've had, this has been the well, most yeah. incredible. Well, well, no, experience. like it certainly doesn't matter because, like, so I'm off camera making a drink, but like, if you if you think about it, right? Like, he's got that smirk. We've on had face, the by same way. amount of like just general people watching, right? When we had. 300 followers yeah. to 700. It's like follower number, yeah. at least for now, like, yeah, it really doesn't. Absolutely. It doesn't, it doesn't control or alter anything. I have Amazon Prime because I order a lot of tools and lube. You guys get my Prime sub, so no biggie. No, dude, it is an absolute, seriously, an absolute honor to be, um, for you to even give us your Amazon Prime sub. So, um, so the next person says, honestly, I don't think that's something you should be too worried about in regards to increasing follower count, things like that. Having a lot of followers is a direct result of having a lot of viewers come through. This means your problem can be one of two things. You aren't getting enough exposure with viewers, or you aren't retaining viewers. And I think that's very fair feedback. If you don't have a lot of exposure, you should be trying to network as much as possible. Get yourself out there with broadcasters on Twitch and collaborate and help build each other's community. This is something that someone talked about. Might have been little little tortilla boy. Uh, little tortilla boy recommended, hey, get out there and like join the Twitch communities. Because if there's anything you and I suck at, it's actually watching Twitch. We don't watch as much Twitch as we should. He's turning his mic on. Well, I would say it's 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 not just that, man. It's fucking. I'm not like, saying it is just that. No, I'm just saying no, it, it sucks. Like, we don't watch as much. But Twitch no, it, as it goes we to a bigger problem. Period. Right. Which is the something you have to do. Which we don't, because we don't fucking, like, either we don't know how to do it, or it's a weird sort of morality issue for us, of self-promotion. For sure. Right? Which, like... <clears throat> yeah, we both suck we, We've been told that's extremely fucking important. Yeah. I agree it probably is, but it's like... So you're, you're telling me, like, that I would go into, like, someone else's stream, and then, like, with the full purpose of, like, plugging my own shit, whether it be right away or at a certain point... That to me, that just seems fucking strange. Absolutely, you know? and I think that there's probably a way to do it that's not super shitty. We just don't know probably. what that is. We are just socially inept. To I the mean, point to it's where it's to the point where it's like, okay, let's let's bring up a fucking recent event that happened when we did that Mario collaboration, the the uh, trailer analysis. Yeah, 
Not one person in, in our group was willing to simply post that to, like, a gaming subreddit. Like, whether Including be, you. Yeah, I fucking added the goddamn thing, so fuck you. But, like, no, but, like, the point is, you like... see how he is? He's like, I did this half, so you should have no, to do but, this No, half. but either way, like, no <laughs> one was willing... Everyone was like, I don't want to do it. And it's like, well... Then it's gonna stay at, like, no fucking views. Like, the, the, the early, early-ass videos that I made don't have a ton of views, right? Yeah. But, like, for example... The, that Dark Souls Rocky Balboa video that has like 27,000, like that, our most successful video, like I posted that to the Dark Souls subreddit when I made it a long time ago. Yeah, that was That's pre, why that was that pre Twitch. So like, yeah, it, it's that, like that can easily fucking help you out. But it's, it's this weird sort of like shame of self-promoting to... For sure. I don't know, it's strange, right? It is, it's very strange. Um, don't worry, Chimps, I'll promote you. Uh, I defy, greatly appreciate it. You have done an amazing job supporting us and promoting us but what's really key about this conversation that we're having is and we're gonna hit everyone's comments by the way yeah uh we are not we are not like having this is not a conversation that we are having as a plea to you guys or as a request nope. or we are like there is no there is no uh ask out this of us from this conversation. this conversation yes this period. is the first time we're having the conversation and we just want to have the conversation mm. in front of you so uh you know obviously any type of feedback that you have we appreciate but uh, please know that this is not in any attempt to, like, get you guys to put more work or time or anything like that into it. No, and, and more, yeah, and, and have it, like, to specifically target his record, like, you don't have to, like, you don't have to do anything. That's not even what we're at. Yeah. But, like, don't, certainly don't, like, uh, feel bad where you have to admit that like, you haven't publicly, like, it's your, that's your personal Facebook, like. And, and beyond know. that, like, mm. <laughs> the fact that you're here <clears throat> honestly means everything to us. So, the fact that you you could be anywhere right now, you could be doing anything right now. Um, the fact that you guys are here, it it that is more than we could ever ask for. So, um, sincerely, like, please don't ever feel pressure to to take the extra step or anything like that. We legitimately do this because we love to do this. We just want to eventually get to a point to where this can be something that we can do significantly mm. more. Uh. This is something that we have such a great passion for uh, that. We want, we want to be able to spend more time together with you guys, and, um, you know, growth is going to allow something like that to happen. So, The number that I find interesting is which streams draw a lot of viewers, like that weird Korean game that had 35 viewers, or that LEGO Jurassic Park game. Yeah, the most viewers I ever got was LEGO Jurassic Park. Uh, hosting other people at the end of your stream, I think, is an easy way to ex get exposure. I think that's really great feedback. How is that? I've heard that a lot. Like, how, how does that... Because, because somebody's like, oh, thanks for hosting, and then they see... That that person is hosting, and then they're like, "Hey, go check out Chainsaw Ape's channel or whatever." Oh, okay. I see. Uh, you could do a mystery science theater for watching other Switch channels, like recursive Twitch, where you guys watch and comment on the stream. That's actually a pretty funny idea. Uh, can you, don't worry, can you do punching. that? I mean, I don't know if we can stream it. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know the legality behind all of this Twitch stuff. My guess is, is they're putting themselves out there on the internet, so they kind of allow themselves. I mean, sure, I guess, but like, I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> It's an interesting and ice I, to walk on. If all seven of us pitched in a grant, we could get a billboard advert. We talked about, uh, what was it, promoting, like, paying for an advertisement on the Easy Allies yeah. thing, didn't we? It's like 500 bucks a month. Maybe one day. I mean... I feel kind of weird about it because I love the Easy Allies, and I never want to use them as a... What do you mean? You're a, paying them. Yeah. Like, that's what, they, that's, what that's there for. No, but the, the money that I give them is to support them. Yeah, how about, like... But the $500, if like we give them $500, then the purpose would be for them to promote us. No, that would be... That's what they do with it. I don't... I don't... Is, is that, like, a, is that a moral, like, hill that you really want for, to die on, though? Like... For, I, I mean, I don't know if it's a moral, moral hill, hill that I want to die on, but I can say personally, like, that Easy Allies is, like, my personal mm. favorite video game group. Like, yeah, I love watching them. I consume their content regularly. I don't ever want to like use them. I don't ever. They they like mean a lot to me. I don't know. It's like uh, let me. I guess a similar analogy I could use is if like we're going out, like me and my wife are going out one night, and she wears something that's like super low cut. She, you just see her boobs just hanging out all over the place, and I'm like, no, those are all those are mine. That's for, that's for me. Like well. I don't actually feel that way, by the way, because um, I 
Okay, like, you're all right, buddy. <laughs> just get your point. <laughs> but you're, but you're you rolling your say? eyes and you're shaking your head and you're just you're being a complete jackass. This is because this is such a weird way to take... Okay, but go on. I'll, I want to hear your point first. No, and then no continue. I, continue the judgment. It's going great. Well, no, I, I will, but, like, I need you to continue <laughs> for me to do that. So, but <clears throat> it's this idea of, like, uh, having my wife on my arm to show off, like, hey, guys, check out the tits on this bra that's on my arm. It, that it's there's like a dirty feeling of that. It's like a I don't, it's a dirty feeling to me to use something that I love uh, as an as a way to promote it. I'm not saying that I won't do it. I'm just saying I feel dirty. About it. So just 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 so I'm clear, right? Uh, you're like okay, well I really like Easy Allies. Great, they're my favorite video game group. Uh, probably with the ones with the most integrity that I know of, and me too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> And they're like, hey, uh, we're wanting to make money here at Easy Allies. Uh, make sure you, uh, you know, join our Patreon, which you do. I do. And if you, you know, we also do advertisements. Uh, so if there's something you want to promote uh, and you want to also support us while doing it, just like on Patreon, then make sure you do that. And you're like, I'm giving them money, which is what they want, for them to promote a product, which is what they want to do in return. And you operate a, a fan page for them. I do. But you're like, that's... But for them to simply say, like, hey, these guys uh, help bring this stream to you, right? That would be the... the well, I'm sure it's what it is. Like, this is brought to you by, like, they, they donated this money. So, hey, here are the guys that are helping this happen. That's somehow morally ambiguous or wrong to you? For me, it is. All right, well... For me, it is. Okay, fair enough. Again, not saying we're not going to do it, but it, it just feels weird. It feels weird. I like reach out to him. I'm like, here's your $500. <clears throat> it's chainsaw.com. I want you to say these things. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. That's, that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but like it's, you, you also have a problem self promoting. I wouldn't have a, but, but that's because it seems like a weird, if I was paying somebody, then I wouldn't feel that way at all. Like I'm, I, there's, I'm, I'm paying it, for a service. If, I think that's fair. But since I have so much like care and respect for him, I don't want to, like, cross the streams. Like, people in the Easy Allies, uh, the fan club or fan group that I started, uh, over a thousand followers, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's going well. Um, they always promote their own stuff. People are like, hey, guys, check out my yeah. YouTube video. There's even, like, an Easy Allies fan podcast um, that happens every week <clears throat> that, like, all started through this group. But... I don't ever, like, talk about Chainsaw Ape in there. I don't ever post Chainsaw Ape stuff in there. I just, like, don't Which ever want to use that. But it's the same sort of thing. It's like, I don't want to use... No, I understand that more than I do, like, you know, fucking, if, you, if, if you're paying them, or they're paying you, or, you know, like, but, you're, but then you're still like, no, I can't do this. Like, I, look, if that's just the way you feel, that's the way you feel. Like, yeah. you know, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, I, I understand not promoting like when you own something just because you yeah. happen to have that platform. I get that more than I do feeling bad about buying an advertisement slot on uh, a program in which you like and support. Yeah. Curtis you know? says, Major T has no problem promoting his fan group, but not this. I have no problem promoting that fan group because that fan group is about me promoting something I love. Promoting the Easy Allies. Promoting us, a mm -hmm. little bit harder. No worries. I basically talk to the Vegas Lust to look at some titties. There you go. <laughs> Something that I've considered before. I don't feel pressured. I just know how much it would help. And if it's a thing to consider in the future. I vote for Rudy's barbecue idea. Let's all chip in for a billboard. Great idea. Hey, it's so yeah. meta. Uh, myself and Zariel are planning to hit QuakeCon in August. We'd love to get some of those cards to hand out. Yeah, sure. We, we need to order some more because I don't know where mine are at. I, I, I have some, but I I'll probably these. These are mine. Not I don't a ton. Really <laughs> um, so I'm going to hit up some more, some more feedback. If you aren't retaining viewers, then it's a content problem. Something you're doing isn't keeping viewers around. This is something that you have to be very, very introspective about. You need to be asking yourself, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Would I watch this? And you should probably be asking your viewers why they think you aren't getting any retention. So uh, this comment directly led to the, the post that I made in the Facebook group. Uh, and Nick said, I guess what also well, led to this? The streamers that I watch or the streamers that I follow do the following things. They play with their fans. They show their strategies. They play fan requests and fan challenges. Uh, so if the, ch the fan is like, hey, man, I want to see if you can do this entire thing while keeping your eyes closed, then they would do something like that. 
Uh, they all do giveaways. They're all, uh, they are on all of the time. They provide YouTube content and they have a particular place, play and style. So a lot of fairly good feedback there. I think there's some stuff that makes it a is a bit of a, a bit of that's kind of contradictory though, where it's like they have a particular play and play style, but it's like also doing like, uh, you know, requests at the same time. For sure. So it's like, that's a little bit contradictory, but I think I get what he means. Uh, this guy says, I've hit 303, 330 in my first month, so 700 over the course of two years seems a bit slow. Uh, all I consume is that you need to network more. Also improve your yeah. stream personality, your tech, fuck and your you, overlay. Fuck you, boy. Bot optimization, <laughs> games. The viewers need a reason to come back. Mm. Make them want to tell their friends about you. What is it that sets you apart? Mm. Um, I'll check on your stream tonight when I'm home. Don't know if he actually did, but that was about a week ago. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, I don't think I... Uh, this good advice is the, the, the only kind of issue is, like, we, we know what to improve upon. Like, I mean, we do, but we're not, not, with we're every, not, not doing with, it. No, not with every... That's what I fucking mean. <laughs> when, when, you, when, you, when you sent me that link and you're like, hey, here's the feedback that I got, right? And you're like, what do you think your of the feedback? Your eyes so hard. And what do you think of the feedback? And I was like, well, it's not anything we, we don't already fucking know. Like, we know, but we just fucking don't. It's that, like, honestly, like, legitimately, I, I don't know, I can't count the number of fucking people that have told us this. It's like, promotion, marketing. You know, like, we probably don't have the best of anything that's, that, that currently, you know, is, is available. But, like, it's not terrible. For sure. You know, there are people that like it. So it's like, but, like, and, and if there are people, like, there's probably more, pe more people that do. Yeah. That we're not reaching. So, like, so we know that that's kind of an answer. Or, you know, at least, like, one thing, like, a big thing that we could change. But it's like, <laughs> it's just a weird mental thing with us that we fucking feel like shit doing it. So we don't. You know? And I think, like, I don't know, we're going to have to get the fuck over it. I, I think that's the key. I think we're going to have to get the fuck over it. Yep. But the question is, is, I want to do it in a not shitty way. <laughs> well, like, first thing so, first is just doing it, period. There, there has to be a level of sincerity to it. And I think that's the hardest part, because I don't know if, like, I can sincerely reach out to another Twitch streamer and say, hey, man, I think that you and I can work together to improve each other's channels. Mm -hmm. I think you and I can support each other. I think that we have a lot of similarities or whatever it is. I have the ability to do those things. But number one, so... Over the course of the last week, I've been watching a lot more Twitch. I don't really like a lot of it. <clears throat> I actually think that our stuff is better. And I'm not saying, and I'm, again, I, I don't, well, I'm not I'm saying like, that like we're so fucking great, but I have a lot of fun with our stuff. I, I was not having fun watching a lot of theirs. <clears throat> I did not, there wasn't as much interaction. I was getting ignored a lot, things like that. Sorry, everybody that we, we've ignored. <laughs> like, we're going we're gonna to get, we're going to get everything. <laughs> Uh, but there was there was a, a massive feeling of like there was a big disconnect between me and them um, that uh, at least on this side of the camera I like have a closeness that I feel with each of you guys you know as we have a conversation whether it's something mm -hmm. silly or serious uh, your web page right. and visual things <clears throat> kick ass well thank you major time DKP wore short shirts hotness my jeans are rolled up right now does that count hell no man. <laughs> I mean, not I'm not an official all. teammate, but I'm not above pimping. <clears throat> Tune into a lot of streamers that I just don't like. I don't have fun. I find a lot of them annoying. For the streams that I do watch, uh, your stream is the best at connecting. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, like, that's... I don't know. That's, that's kind of the... That's what I think that we do have, like, as a commodity, which is, like, the sort of, like, realism as far as, like, I don't... We, we don't really act very much differently, if at all, uh, off-stream than we do on-stream. Uh, and I think like uh, that way, I think that's made semi obvious in the way we are. At least I try to. Uh, but it's like, and I think that I think that that is a valuable asset that we have that we that we give. It's just how do we fucking do anything with that? I mean, I, I personally think that my I change depending on who I'm around. Like I, my streams with you are different than my streams with Jay Dig. Jay well, Dig, sure. I have a different personality. And the streams it's just me a lot. Like it's I I, have, I like flex differently around different people than you do. Like, you are you. But that's what I love and respect about you is, like, you are you. And oh, no matter you. whether I watch a stream with me and you or a stream that's just you by yourself or a stream that's you and VKP, I know what I'm going to get, and I fucking love what I get when I see it. Um, 
with me, you know, I, I'm kind of interchangeable. My personality alters with each different <clears throat> person. Um, but that, but that's not saying like anything about you as like I, I think like uh, a streamer or whatever. But like yeah. some people just do that. Watch any watch any interview with Quentin Tarantino. Just specifically, yeah. go watch one where he's around black people. Like he embarrassingly tries to suddenly talk like he grew up in Compton. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? I did, though, fam. And, like, yeah, some people just do that naturally. Just, like, depending on the group of people they're around, they, they change their personality slightly to fit the demographic of people they're with. Yeah. Now, that's not, like, a terrible thing. <laughs> right? And I, so what I'm saying is, like, I, but, like, in general, I, I, don't, I don't think what you're saying quite applies to what I meant, which is, like, no, you, I might act, it you might act slightly different. If you're streaming by yourself, then you would hear with me or with like JD. I've been in uh, people management for 15 years or so. So mm. you learn to naturally like flex your personality based on the person that you talk to, yeah. the person that you're interacting with, managing up, managing down, the different types of personalities that you work with. So you have to like at least try to like fit lots of different molds and it just has a alteration to your <clears throat> personality. Well, that's why I never advanced or have a career. So. Uh... <laughs> I'm right there with you as of tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's by choice. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's hit some comments because uh, you guys provide a lot of quite great, a few, a lot, lot of great feedback. Uh, I can help order if you guys need. I can do the pill for graphics. James falls asleep during a 24 hour stream. Girls get less views on Twitch. Don't let the girls hunt stream. Uh, <clears throat> that's a shocker. Yeah, <laughs> I guess nobody's the fucking opposite. I, yeah, I don't know if that's the. <laughs> The stream isn't getting big because of a lack of corgis. Bring in some corgis and that'll change. You know anyone who owns a corgi? Uh, you know, bring them in. You know, both, both you, know, you and I both have corgis. Yeah, but mine's a fucking piece of garbage. We, we talked about in the past, like, adding a corgi to our logo and then bringing our corgis into the stream. No, we did talk about it. I, no, I know. Yeah, we, we didn't I, do so it. So, you brought up the idea and I said no. <laughs> well, no. You, don't let, you don't let your corgi into our stream. Dude, I'm, is, not, I'm is, not mad at you. I'm not judging to, you. Is he to be trusted around fucking? No, he's, much a, he's a dinosaur of a dog that will annihilate everything in its path. Exactly. Yeah. So no, of course he's not allowed near. Yep. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, um, let's see. We need to wear some short shorts. Tune a lot of streamers and I just don't like and have fun and I don't find a lot of, uh, and I find a lot of them annoying. Yeah. Uh, from streams I, from the streams I do watch, your stream is. Acting okay. I'm not saying like okay. We we, we said thank you. Yeah. Off kind cool. of you. No, I feel incredibly close. It's <clears throat> uh, quizzical says there's a huge uh, disconnect of all the top streamers. Uh, just reasonable considering you know amount of people that are chatting at once. Uh, they aren't top dogs because they interacted a lot. Uh, they got there because they provide great gameplay or have great personalities. Yeah. I, I well, think it's like, but how do you express your personality without interacting? You know, like isn't that, don't those kind of go hand in hand? Uh. I mean, they do, but they don't. You can have one and not have the other. I guess you can, yeah. Like, uh, some people are just fun to watch. Like, and <clears throat> the people that watch them are not a, they're not members of a community. They are fans. Sure. And Chainsaw, is, at least oh, as far as man, I'm concerned, here we go. does we're not have fans. Talk, we're going to talk about synergy. <laughs> no, we, no, we just don't have fans. No, I know. I, we I, have I, a I community. We have friends. <clears throat> we have people that. Uh, hang out with us. At least that's how I feel. Uh, Peb says, uh, in a weird way, it allows you guys to be more honestly assholes and honestly caring uh, than what I see in other streams. So, yeah, I guess, <laughs> as far as we can do, we can have the best of both worlds. We can be total pricks and really just with a heart of gold, lastly, you know, to anyone else. <clears throat> uh, Inify says, talking to you, I think your first name will shine a lot better that you work for EA. Yeah. I mean, well, now that you I don't feel more comfortable that, talking. You don't have about that it, career on the line. I don't. I don't. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if it's going to alter me a whole lot because, generally speaking, like I, I honestly am. I tend to try to be more positive. I'm not like trying to. It's it's not a, it's not out of a like it's not out of a try thing. I'm not like trying to be positive. I just tend to be more of a. Um, We'll just call it a Nintendo apologist. That's the easiest way to to say right, it. But I, I feel that way. Like I legitimately feel that way about Nintendo in a lot of areas. I legitimately feel that way. I will defend game developers and game publishers till the end of the fucking day. Like <clears throat> I will consistently d defend them, even though I don't work for them, um, because I do believe that they get the short end of the stick a lot. I think uh, 
video game developers and publishers deserve a lot more credit and respect than what they get, right. considering what they're doing. Uh, <clears throat> so you bring up Kirby Lane. Amen to that, baby. God damn it. Fucking uh, shitty chat programs all the way up. Corgis, Let's everybody see. Corgis. I believe the community that plays a huge part. Yeah, uh... Yeah, definitely. No, like, no shit, like... <clears throat> fuck. Uh, in more than, more than one way, which is, like... <clears throat> we might be saying, like, okay, well, we want to get a bigger audience, but, like, quite legitimately, like, <clears throat> the most miserable time that we had streaming for, like, would, like was we, when there's nobody there, right? So even, like, one person that, like, you know, whether it's, yeah. like, you know, for, for the longest time, it was just Idafi. It was the first, like, first follow that we had. Yeah. Uh, to just shoot the shit with makes it way fucking easier. Yeah, you I want to have more a... people that you know that are part of, like, your community that, and, like, that you know them, uh, you know, they know you. It makes the whole entire thing more fun, more enjoyable. To where it's no longer, like, well, Fuck! I got a stream tonight at seven. It's like, fuck yeah! I get streaming. I'm streaming tonight at seven. Yeah, I have a, it, pers a personal thank you to Peviv. I'll, like, there have been a lot of times where a lot of you guys has, has it just been you and I, but Peviv more consistently. There have been so many times where I am literally streaming to no one, where I'm hanging out with no one, and then Peviv comes in and like gives me someone to talk to. <clears throat> like that, yeah, always turns things around. So like, you know, the community like is not only a huge part for just the motivation. To, to, to keep streaming, period. Which, like, that's the reason, like, even if, like, this never got any better than it is right now, like, uh, the, the, the bond that I build with a lot of people that, that, that are in our community, like, I, I can't imagine saying, like, alright, guys, take it easy. Uh, We're done forever. It was really fun knowing all you and interacting with you and, you know, some Change of you guys meeting day. personally. Uh, but, uh, yep, not gonna really uh, talk to you anymore, not gonna see you anymore. Goodbye. I I'd don't know, there, I'd if I, you're there a lot as well. There's just... I'd if I, you're not as interested in watching me play some fucking random ass Telltale game. <laughs> Look, you gotta call that motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, my wife made friends in a shitload of streams. After a long period of making friends on uh, other streams, she usually gets close to 100 viewers. Every stream she gets like 50 to 100 followers. Also, no cam. Damn. She That's... got one of them phone sex voices, though, you know? Like, you, okay, we both have worked phone support. We have. And there are certain, like, people that you can tell, like, when you talk to them, it's like, this person's super fucking big. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Because yes. yes. at the same time, I've, I've went and creeped their Facebook and be like, I fucking knew it. Yeah. That guy was 900 pounds. <laughs> well, he, he, uh, this, this includes me as well, but when you're on the phone and you can just hear... Oh, you would sound, you would sound fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, because it's an old way to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Uh... uh Tortilla Boy says she's hit 1,300 followers in a couple of months. Yeah, nice. So that's what I'm saying, to branch out, make friends. No, it's a very, very, very good point. Well, Tortilla Boy, how about this? How about you? You drive up here to Austin. Yeah, we'll Hang out for a weekend. And uh, you could, you we'll could, make you friends could go into super detail about how exactly we do that, because <clears throat> as charismatic and confident as we look, <laughs> we're a couple fucking tits when it comes to... Doing anything with this goddamn stream outside of just doing it. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's fair, but I'll allow it. <laughs> You're allowing it because it's more fair than not. They can't see your eyes going uh, behind those glasses. I do but... a lot of things outside of just. No, being I mean, I mean, like as far as like networking, like that sort of thing. Networking, like, yes. Like anything that has to do without like just binary work that you can put in. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Um, so, we gotta keep this a little brief. Yeah, we, we, we do need to cut it off, but I do want to say, and I haven't talked to you about this yet, uh, oh, I'm gonna God. move the, I'm gonna move the Telltale streams. Oh, okay. The Telltale streams are no longer gonna be on Sundays. Alright. They're gonna move to Tuesday mornings. I'm gonna start doing, or mornings or afternoons, depending on which time zone you're in. Uh, I'm gonna do two morning streams on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It may grow, <clears throat> it may change, things like that. Sure. Um, but Tuesdays are gonna be Telltale, and then Wednesdays are going to be some form of multiplayer. Probably a lot of Warhawk, because that's the only multiplayer game I enjoy. Um, but we're going we're gonna to start there, and then we're, we're just going to allow it to evolve over time. <laughs> so, Everybody's like, what wait, the fuck is Warhawk? So, so you're, like, you're like, we need to... Well, one of the big pieces like feedback is like, play games, multiplayer games, like with the community. <laughs> and like, I'm going to play I'm a multiplayer game. I'm picking the one game. that's accessible to nobody, but, except for diehard my, fans my, of this. Well, my thought, my thought process behind it is it's a super niche game, so there probably aren't a lot of streamers for it, and it's a game that I really enjoy. 
No, I'm just fucking with you. So it's a game that I like. I want to see if if that if there's a niche Dude, audience I, I play, out there. I played for it. Zork last like, the other night. Like I've come to distrust. I have no fucking room to talk. You know. <laughs> Some days are hard for me to watch during the time you're on. Too much good television. That was the kind of the purpose behind uh, Telltale Tales. Was you're watching all your TV shows, watch an episode of a Telltale game. But I think it's fair. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do for Sunday nights is, and I haven't figured out the finer details, but it's going to be a community choice game. Um, in that either you guys will nominate and I will pick a game, or I will nominate <clears> and you guys will pick a game. And we are going to try to do some yeah. sort of like straw poll method because if we do it through the Facebook group, then we get a, a bunch of empty calories in terms of votes. Rudy says, "Would you rather have a hundred thousand followers on Twitch or a little gnome that gives you that lives in your <clears> pants and adjusts your package for you?" The gnome, for sure. I'm gonna say the same. I feel like if I did it right, I could. Sometimes I the could balls will get I, stuck. I could, I could trick them into jerk me off. <laughs> you, you probably could. could You're like, hey man, there's some adjust- that motherfucker. There's some adjusting that needs to happen. <laughs> uh, what if it was? What if it's? A, what if it's a little dude gnome? Well, that's what I assumed. If you gnomes come in any other <laughs> any other color, yeah, little lady gnomes. You seen? The, uh, I'm I'm about to say David the gnome, but there were lady gnomes in David the gnome. David the gnome, the one that's like, how about I slap your shit? That gnome. You haven't seen that old meme? It was like a really old one. Where it's the gnome, and it's just, how about I he slap your shit? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sundays is going to be community night. Monday, uh, Tuesdays are going to be adding Telltale. Wednesday is probably going to be some form of multiplayer. going to start with the problem. Don't sexually assault your gnome. You got to do what you got to do. <clears throat> well, because, like, let's think about it this way as well. If we just popped up to 100,000 followers right now, we would be like a U2 sort of situation. People are like, who the fuck? Why is this on my shit? <laughs> And then we come out of it with the same amount of people as of right now. I was like, I'll take the no. I, I, I would say if it's like, would I rather have a 700 followers and 10 people who I actually have the ability to read their comments or a thousand followers or a hundred thousand followers and I could never see any comments. I would much rather have the people that have the ability to actually talk and interact with yeah. people. So I'd have a kick playing Jackbox party pack. With you guys. All right. Well, you know what? We're doing that tomorrow. It's a good Friday night party game. And we've done that before, and it works really yeah, fucking yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't have anything planned for tomorrow. So fuck it. We'll do that tomorrow. If you guys want to join in. Uh, I know you and I have not talked about it. Have you thought about possibly increasing the number of streams that you want to do? Normally no I'm more into, like, like night that. streams. But, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, well, I feel like I need to at least match you. If you're going to start adding more day streams, two, then I need to probably do that as well. You know what I mean? Sorry, I, I don't mean for this to sound like a pressure thing where it's like, oh, look what made the time. No, no, here's the thing, like, it's probably good, like, to, for me to have that motivation while I can, you know, have the free time that I do as well right now, like, probably a good thing, because otherwise, dude, like, yeah, the odds are I'm probably just fucking jerking off and feeling bummed anyways, like, might as well be fucking maybe doing something worthwhile. He's serious. You better believe it. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh... That will be all, I think, for tonight. Yep. For Prep Ave. But uh, we might talk about this more uh, yeah. at some point. We'll maybe definitely talk about it more. Uh, yeah, maybe in like 30 minutes. We yeah, if know. you guys are watching this live <laughs> on Twitch, uh, we'll be doing a post stream in the yeah. next 30 minutes or so. If you're watching it on YouTube, uh, make sure you check out the live version on Twitch on Thursday nights. Yep. <clears throat> but either way, uh, boys, thanks for joining in. I think uh, I think that will be it for us. For uh, we'll be back in about half an hour, roughly, for uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Yep, it's nine o'clock, man. Because uh, we went over like oh, so. Yeah. We got to start. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we'll be back in about half an hour uh, for Final Fantasy Seven, which is our post stream. Uh, apart from that, thanks for all the feedback. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed the sausage making. We got we got something saying uh, you know. Yeah, thank well, you. Guys. Uh, Adify is great, honest conversation. Well, Adify, you can attest. That, because uh, you met me in real, in real life twice, out of like, in a, and that's someone who I didn't know previously, right? But I'm pretty fucking on, open and honest person, especially yes. here. That's where I tried. So I'm glad that that I'm glad that that came across. And yeah, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, with honesty comes humbleness, and that's a good thing. Does admitting you're humble make you humble? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, like that's. Okay, but hold on, real quick, then I guess that's the reason why we don't self promote because you like. It's the thing of saying, like, hey, I've got this cool thing, and that makes you look like a dick. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, that's the particular fucking reason why, like, we, we don't do it. So, yeah, I mean, I'd say to a fault, 
if you want to call it that, you know. We don't want to fucking look pretentious or like dicks or any of that. So we don't, yeah, but anyways. <laughs> see, you guys, Hi, everyone. see you guys in half an hour. I have a cool fidget spinner. Damn. You better bring that shit in, yeah. This couch that's invisible right now, all, it's all yours, baby. <clears throat> and I mean that. All right, guys. I'm I made you come. And, uh... We said at the same time, that's never happened. Fantastic. Episode 85, baby. Believe it. Bye, everyone. Right. See you guys here in a little while.